right, it's about to 645. Let's take a look at our tower cam downtown out there. And well, it really looks kind of dramatic out there. We've had a lot of dramatic sunrises. We, this we've had a lot of dramatic summer. skies recently, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, I told, was telling Art yesterday, it looked like it was going to pour down at my house around 4, and then I got nothing. And it poured yeah. north. It came to our houses. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> nothing She's a little south. We're a little far north, and that was a big difference because there were some thunderstorms yeah. yesterday for sure. Uh, we're going to get some more of those again today. I'm already seeing some activity, especially in parts of Taylor County, where it's been kind of wet. We've got one little cell right here approaching Live Oak. It's working its way across the interstate, so we're going to find some more showers. There'll be some wet spots on I-10. Now from Shady Grove, Highway 221, down to Perry. We've got a bunch of activities. The same showers that were up against the coast and across parts of Highway 98 earlier. Now they've made their way across Highway 19. So most of Taylor County getting at least a few showers. And there's a bunch more up against parts of Franklin County's coast. These are drifting more north and east and we'll continue to do that. So I think more parts of Taylor County are going to get wet this morning and a lot more of our area are going to find some showers again this afternoon. So count on it. We're still in the same overall weather pattern at least for another day or two. 71 right now in Valdez. The 72s for Tallahassee and for Thomasville. Not much of a breeze to stir things up. We'll be looking for patchy fog. Haven't seen very much yet. Yesterday's temperature split was exactly where it's supposed to be. 72 and 91. And when all is said and done today, I think we're going to be pretty close to that again. Officially at the Tallahassee Airport, just one one hundredth of an inch of rain. Another morning in the upper 60s for Blakely. Soon we'll start to see more numbers like that everywhere. It's 76 at St. Mark's. It's 77 at Perry. We're at 72 in Monticello this morning. Here are your visibility numbers. Pretty much all better than five miles. So patchy fog, that's all. The back edge of the clouds is there through parts of northern Louisiana and northwestern parts of Mississippi. That is this leading edge of drier and cooler air. Now, I don't expect the boundary to get all the way through here. I don't expect any cooler air to get here. But the drying is really trying and maybe we get a little taste of that starting later tomorrow and maybe we can start to reduce some of the rain chances over the next few days. Now, of course, if we do reduce the rain chances, it's going to get hotter outside and that's sort of how it's looking like it's going to go. I think for today, a pretty good scattering of showers as that boundary gets closer. Parts of Alabama could see some stronger thunderstorms mixed in. So we've got things to watch with the forecast for today and even still for tomorrow before if any of that drying is going to happen, I think that really takes hold Thursday and Friday. On the Gulf today, winds out of the southwest, 8 to 16, just breezy enough to notice it. The last of the low tides behind us, so we're looking forward to high tides later this morning. Let's go 70s with a few showers, especially to the south and east. It's got the rain chance at 50-50, I know, higher in Taylor County where it's already coming down. We'll put the rain chance up to 60% for this afternoon. I do think 90s within reach, but not for everybody. It's more muggy tonight. The showers fizzle. We do it all over again but maybe tomorrow we start to change it a little bit. I'm going to keep the rain chances up for now. When we talk again tomorrow morning, I have an idea that maybe we can reduce those rain chances a little bit. It's trying to dry, and if we're going to find some success like that, it's Thursday, Friday. But of course, when it gets drier, we get sunnier. When it gets sunnier, guys, it's going to get hot.